The Miami Hurricanes are up to number 14 in the new AP basketball poll, finally getting some love after blowout wins over Duke and Florida State. Remember, Duke was number one, Canes beat them by 27. And if you thought there'd be a letdown against the Knowles, no, 24 point win there. So we're asking you on Twitter, do you agree with where Miami is ranked right now? It's like Goldilocks, too high, too low, or just right? <laughs> K-Nash Sports, what are the fans telling us? That's right, I've got three of my favorite answers. Todd Few tweeted 6-0 and in the ACC and took care of business after the big win. In my opinion, they deserve to be a little higher. We need a consistent winner though, Jeff, I agree. Now, Stefan C, aka Eyes, yeah, we see you, Stefan. They deserve to be ranked higher than the three in front of them. That's for sure, no reason to be behind behind Michigan State with what they've the done. The Canes have beaten Michigan State. So I That's think right. right there you could say they should be ahead of the Spartans. And Michigan State got blown out by Minnesota. So tell it, now sister, Mark, tell it. Mark Simpson tweeted, yes, 15-3, and 16-0 in the ACC. Enough said. They're that good. They're that good. Remember, in football, the polls matter. The they help determine good. who plays in the championship game. In basketball, <laughs> they have no bearing on the tournament. And that's a good thing, I think, because the Canes have revealed the AP poll voters are like me in that advanced chemistry class I took. Oh it boy. confirmed my future was as a journalist. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> voters are flunking this test. Miami is number three in RPI. They still deserve even more respect. Another Miami team that's trending, the Heat. They were at the White House being honored by President Obama for winning the NBA title. A lot of sports fans are reacting to an interview the president gave in New Republic. He says if he had a son, he's not sure he'd let him play football and that the game might need to change to protect player safety, even if it means it's not as fun to watch. Now, Kelly, I don't think everyone agrees with this. <laughs> yeah, they asked 49ers coach Jim Harbaugh about what President Obama said. And he said, well, hey, I've got a four-month-old son, Jack. Less competition for him. <laughs> Clearly, the Harbaugh's are into football. And uh, Jim Harbaugh has said the reason he thinks he, uh, his little kid might be a good football player one day, he's got an enormous head. I don't big know head. how that correlates there. Hopes that he grows into his big head. <laughs> Predicts a big body. We'll see. Now, one point the president made that I thought was interesting, he was particularly concerned about college athletes because at least the NFL guys are, of course, making money. If you wrestle with your conscience for a minute and then decide, I still want to watch the Super Bowl. Today is Super Bowl Media Day. It's the day when reporters who don't care about sports <laughs> ask questions that have nothing to do with the Super Bowl. Seriously. Kelly, if you could ask it's a circus. just one player on either of these teams, okay. who would it be and what's the one question you'd want to ask? Colin Kaepernick, puppies or kittens? Puppies or kittens? <laughs> That's it. You get fluff on that day. You it's do. Insanity. And nothing's fluffier than puppies or kittens.